Now I'm going to show you how to make some quick mozzarella goat cheese. First we're going to start off with two gallons of milk. Now what I'm going to do is dissolve um, some citric acid. I need two and a half teaspoons of citric acid powder. I'm going to put it in half a cup of cool water and once it's dissolved I'm going to add it to the milk. Alright, here's the half a cup of cool water. Here's my citric acid. I'm going to go ahead and add two and a half teaspoons to the cool water to dissolve. I'm going to stir well, turn the temperature kind of on between medium and low on this burner. So I'm going to stir it well. I'm going to add my thermometer and I'm going to wait till it gets up to 88 degrees. When it gets up to 88 degrees I'll mix in my rennet and half a cup of cool water and then I'll be stirring the, it into the milk for about 10 seconds. The amount of rennet I'll be using is half a teaspoon. If you're using rennet tablets, you would use a quarter, quarter of a tablet. But right now, we're just going to wait till the temperature gets up to 88 degrees. Every now and then, I just stir it a little bit and check the temperature. If you don't stir it, it seems that um, it'll suddenly get too hot on you. Alright, now for the half a cup of cool water and a half a teaspoon of the animal rennet. I'm going to go ahead and add the rennet into my water. And stir that in. And we're mixing for 10 seconds. Now, we're going to allow it to set at about 88 degrees. Very pretty. It's nice. And now I'm going to allow it to set for. 15 minutes, set my timer for 15 minutes, um, at 88 degrees. After setting for 15 minutes, the curds should be firm, and when you dip your finger into the curds, they will break cleanly over your finger, and whey will fill the depression where your finger has been. And then, at that point, you will cut into 1 inch cubes and let rest for 10 minutes. I'll show you that part next. Right now, I'm going to turn off the camera for 15 minutes. Alrighty then, now we're going to cut the curds. It's been more like 17 minutes today. We're doing something else. You cut them into about one inch squares. And this is lovely. I don't know if there's an easier way to get it to not twirl around, but it always twirls around for me. At least a little bit. Those are cut. And now I'm going to let it rest for 10 minutes. The next step is to place the pots of curds into a sink of very hot water and slowly bring the temperature up to 108 degrees. I start off with some of this and I'll probably boil some of my teapot and then add some of that to it. Um, the curds will shrink during this process and we're supposed to keep the curds to a, at 108 degrees for 35 minutes. Then drain the curds into a colander for 15 minutes. Here's the pot of curds. Yep. Alright, now we've got that going. Here's our thermometer. We're bringing it up to 108 degrees. Let's see what we're at so far. Okay, it looks like it's at about 85 degrees. So we need to get it right up here. Right now it's 11.32, so let's see how long this takes. I have it up to 100 degrees without my boiled water. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of hot water along the sides here. Should be all the water that we need. All right, it's now up to the correct temperature. It's 11.51. I'm going to set the timer for 35 minutes. I hope that the temperature stays at 108 degrees for the entire 35 minutes. If it does not, then if it starts to go down in temperature, I'll just add more hot water. All right, the next step is to strain 
the curds into a colander. I'm going to leave them in the colander for 15 minutes. All this liquid left from the mozzarella is called whey. I will use the whey to make um, ricotta cheese. And I will go ahead and put that on a separate video. Alright, that's all the curds that's in there. I like a little salt in mine, and although the recipe does not call for salt, now I'm just going to go ahead and add like a teaspoon of salt to my mozzarella. And I'm using my cheese salt. And just work it in there. Now it has to strain for 15 minutes, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, now that our 15 minutes are up, I'm going to um, I'm going to microwave it in a microwave safe plate or bowl. I'm just going to go ahead and use a bowl. Now, of course, you don't have to do the microwave version. I probably... Uh, ah, you're supposed to do only a cupful at a time. So, I guess I'll just do this in halves. Okay, so I'm going to do a bowl full about that size. You could do a cup and follow the instructions. Um, Basically, what we're going to do is heat it on high for 50 seconds and take it out and work the cheese with the back of a spoon or your hands if you can handle the heat. Um, it's much like kneading the cheese. And then you place the cheese back in the microwave and heat on high again for another 25 seconds. Alright, now it's been microwaved for another 25 seconds. You're going to want to knead it a little bit more. Um, you're working it with a spoon or your hands, as I'm doing. You're going to work it into a soft ball shape with the hands and allow it to cool. Cheese will become opaque and shiny. You can kind of tell it's starting to look shiny already. See? Alright, it's starting, you can start to feel that it's going to start to separate if you work it too much. So, really, it's done. I work it into the shape I want it. Almost like a ball of pizza dough or something. Pinch it at the bottom and it kind of meld together a little bit on its own. I think what I'll do is go ahead and put it in a mold this time. Mozzarella, you don't really need to do that, but I'm going to, just for the heck of it. And since it's still warm, it'll go ahead and mold itself to this shape. Then you wrap it after, I'm going to let it sit in this for just while it cools down to room temperature. And then I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the fridge for it to harden more. I think I figured out why they don't use molds. They kind of look, well, funny. And I didn't let it cool all the way because I started noticing that the mozzarella was popping out of all the holes. And I realized real quick it was going to look really funny. But, um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and just let them be nice little round loaves of cheese. Because they're easy enough to cut up and put on my pizzas in nice thin strips. Um, anyway, that's all the cheese that, that the recipe made. I kind of like those dots. They're kind of cool. This one I tried a different <laughs> mold on, obviously. And I only left it in there for a few seconds. It's it's enough cheese to probably make, I don't know, it depends on the size of the pizza, I suppose. But for me, it's going to probably cover three pizzas. Alright, well, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>